All right, John. First of all, congratulations on the big 8-0. Secondly, my apologies for planning a vacation adroitly enough to avoid, to avoid all the shenanigans. But I uh, know I wish we were here. Uh, you know, we were at Ch Charlie's Chili a few weeks ago when one of your supposed friends uh, looked past me out the window of Charlie's and said, there's the smartest dumb guy I've ever met. And I turned around, and there you were, locking up your bicycle. And I happen to think that's pretty accurate description. And uh, you are really smart. And yet, you're also pretty dumb, just like me. Anyway, here's some smart, dumb things for you to consider. Uh, at 80 years of age, you have lived for 33.8% of the existence of this country. That's over one-third of the existence of this country. Yeah. If you live to be 100, you will have lived for 39% of the life of this country. And if you live to be 880 years old, you will have lived for... 85% of the length of this country. That's amazing. And uh, I'm not really counting you out to live 880 years. I think it's definitely possible because you've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're indestructible. Okay, in your 80 years, you have lived through the terms of 13 U.S. presidents, eight of which you've outlived. When you were born, there was no television. There, of course, was no internet. There were no jet airplanes, no color movies, and no satellites in orbit. Nobody had gone to the moon. In fact, we were still trying to figure out where things were on this planet. So it's been an amazing 80 years that you've lived through. And uh, I want to congratulate you as uh, one of the closest friends I have over these past 50 some odd years. And I uh, hope to look forward to the 100, the 120, and the 880th birthday. Catch you later.